that. All right. All right. What are you guys doing? I guess we should be moving up towards the light, right? Uh, yeah. So you you guys are now watching as like Gorza has a torch like fully lit in the entrance of this cave. I'll say in Draconic, is that really wise? See if I can say <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I can't really see. Oh, well, on that I would understand then. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like right, as I've like seen these wolves, I'm like, you can, yep. you don't notice any sort of fear or anything. I feel almost yeah, and more comfortable around these angry wolves than I am any of you guys. They um, perhaps okay. we can calm them down, the two of us. Uh, and I'm saying this in draconic. Yeah. Um, um, as I don't you guys see are the need for that. As you guys are talking, uh. uh Diapek and, and Gorza, you guys notice that as the wolves are like snarling and like pulling, uh, you 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 guys see um, uh, you, you guys see that uh the this this actually I misspoke earlier uh and it's not a touch the slug mine uh there there is an iron rod securing their chains uh to the floor right in front uh -oh. of them um oh, and, wow. and, uh -oh. and as they're like snarling and pulling you you you, you, you you guys see that like the rod like is bent a little bit and they've gotten like a little bit closer to you as they're um as they're sort of like snarling uh yeah I'll, I'll, say to, I'll say to Yellow Belly, uh, Yellow Belly, uh, just step back, maybe. Uh, I don't know your real right. name, supposedly, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, I'm yeah, gonna turn back. to everybody and, like, point out the fact that these wolves are, like, angry and coming at us. Yeah, I can see that. That's why I'm behind you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Actually, can I attempt at calming them a bit with the, uh... <laughs> The goblin ears that I have, maybe they'll uh, appreciate the taste of goblin after they've been mistreated. Um, <laughs> sure, make an animal handling check. Can I assist him? As uh, th that was what I wanted to do in the first place. <laughs> um, I don't know that you'd be able to assist him all that much. All right, so are you, like, essentially, like, giving them the goblin ears? Yeah, I kind of just threw the the necklace that I made out of them onto the ground in front of them. You seen a necklace out of them? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so they seem to, with that, um, kind of, like, yeah, like, stop pulling. They stop pulling on the chains, um, and they uh, seem to be placated for the moment as they sort of, like, uh, rush to sort of like pull at and chew on these on the goblin ears they seem to kind of pay less attention to you and they no longer kind of pull on the on their chains attached to the spike for the moment um i do uh, notice uh something in the end of the room do you reckon maybe i'd be able to walk around them uh yeah l let me let me let me describe to you what you guys what you see uh oh, you still that, you, closer. You, you still that torch up Okay. Um, a couple things. Uh, Gorza and Diapek, you kind of, uh, and Mithor now too are yeah. uh, changing yeah, mark. All right. Um, you guys see a couple things, and I'll ask you to kind of sit tight for a second. Yep. Um, the three of you, you kind of spot about 20 or 30 feet above you. Uh, you kind of catch a glimpse of like a bridge that crosses above. Also, it's like it's cold and damp. Um, as you guys are standing in the water, <laughs> it's about two feet deep. It's pretty cold. It's pretty fast moving. Um, and next to the water, there's this sort of dry path that lead climbs up pretty quickly. It looks about 20, 30 feet. It climbs up to the right, uh, and a bridge. Um, a Above, about 20, 30 feet above the cave floor. Um, peering into the room that had the wolves, um, you see what looks like a very steep kind of like shaft. Uh, it, looks, it looks like a climb, it's very like rocky rubble. 
um, that climbs up about 30 feet, and it looks like it leads up to something. Um, uh, and then you also see up here to your left, um, you see again what looks like another passageway, kind of rocky, well, lots of rocky rubble that kind of uh, looks like it ascends up and out of this main chamber. Um, and just a second. Um, as the three of you are standing there, um, you hear this like, like this sound of like water, oh. kind of like uh, the passage is suddenly filled with a mighty roar. It's this huge rush of, uh, this huge surge of rushing water kind of pours down from above. Uh, those, uh, as you guys look to the north, uh, uh -huh. the, the, the steps are sort of like filled with water and the water level rises by about three or four feet. Oh. Um, it's like water just like slams into the wall here to the north. Um, and I will need all of you, uh, to make a, the, uh, I will say, um, uh, me for, um, Diapak and Gorza to make a strength saving throw. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oof. Very middle. Oh, I got a really good one. Very good one, okay. Gorza. But unfortunately, um, Mithor is in front of me. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you caught him. Maybe right, Gorza can Gorza. catch him. Do right, another strength see, check. That's Diapak. I'm gonna do another one so I can catch Mithor. <laughs> Okay, um, Gorza, uh, you're fine. You, you sort of, like, hold your ground. You're there kind of on the edge, uh, not quite in the water. Uh, Mithor, uh, 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 Mithor and, um, hold on, uh, Mithor and Diapak, you guys get, like, whoosh, like, carried in this stream of water, and you, you end up, like, whoosh, like, kind of slamming into your other party members, uh, yeah, down there, uh, you guys each, just as the water, like, slams into you, you guys get carried, you're, like, like, bumping into rocks on your way down as you get carried on the stream, um, each of you guys are going to take four points of bludgeoning damage, oh. as you guys <laughs> find yourself, like, kind of, as, like, the water rushes out, uh, uh, dust, uh, dust, and a uh, Cosriel. You guys see the water kind of like whoosh, flood out of the entrance to the cave. Um, I, I, I absentmindedly step away from the water. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just yeah. be floating on my back, just looking up at the sky, like, uh? <laughs> Is this? I me would imagine That's the effect. Oh, the effect? Yeah, you're like, oh, fuck, yeah. Um, I would imagine that Kazriel would try to grab them or stop them. Oh, yeah, right I mean, there. So it's um, once the water hits the entrance to the cave, it sort of like dissipates and spreads out on the grass, and uh, the kind of the stream kind of returns back to normal. You just got the sense that there was some kind of sudden, just like surge or flood uh, that like kind of knocked you guys out of the entrance to the cave, but now it's sort of like return to normal and you guys are prone a little banged up kind of the, the entrance to the to the kid banged up <laughs> uh yeah banged up <laughs> uh yeah i will definitely i'll help them to their feet stumble to my feet <laughs> the effect says uh Uh, and for now, at least, um, Gorza, the wolves are like kind of contentedly like gnawing on the on the on the on the goblin ears that you provided them. Nicely done, by the way. Um, yeah, exactly. That is a smart move. Can I move into the cave as well a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I'll go back up there. Fuck that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm. Probably going to. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. that hurt. Yeah, and and dust. Now you're in that room. Um, 
you see these three wolves, at least for the moment, contend sort of like gnawing on, um, you know, gnawing on these goblin ears. And you see that the rubble and rock sort of like rise sharply up in that chamber to your right, uh, about 30 feet. It looks like a, some kind of shaft. Does um, it look like I could fit up that shaft? Uh, or is it like too small? Um, it looks like you could attempt to climb it. Um, uh, just a Or d d does it look as if it's been caved in and those rocks have just fallen down from like a cave in? Does it does it look dangerous, that shaft, other than the three freaking wolves water. that are there? Yeah, I'm yeah. Just thinking the wolves look dangerous. Uh, yeah, good question. Just a second, guys. Um, how, how much do I want to fuck you right now? <laughs> Uh, um, I don't, uh, it, it looks, it looks climbable, um, yeah, that's all I'll say. It also kind of looks like, um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, make a, make a perception check, Dust. Rah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it, 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 it looks like it could be ascended. Um, yeah. Uh, and then you guys also kind of see to your left, uh, like, uh, it looks like a passageway that also kind of, it's kind of, there's rocks and rubble that kind of leads up and away to the left. Uh, and you kind of spot this bridge up above. Well, Diapak <laughs> is thinking about that water, and he wants to creep up to this and just kind of get in this alcove. So if it comes again, he can not get smushed. He wants to go up here. I'm with you. <laughs> I don't want to get smushed by water again. <laughs> okay. Uh, when Mithor um, gets there, Diapek just says, uh, cave spirits are angry today. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't right, know about that, but I'm, I, I'm sitting here with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait, whoa, wait, wait, whoa. Um, can I do a check? Because I see something right now. Yeah, just a second, just a second. Um... Yeah. Yeah, you guys might be able to. Well, blew up my hidey hole. Yeah, the thing about this is it doesn't take into account like the elevation gain there. Are you? Oh. Is this is this Mithor? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I will say Mithor. What you can see, contrary to what Roll Twenty is allowing you to see, is uh where where you stand. Um, there looks like there's an escarpment. Um, like. Uh, there's sort of like a ledge just to your immediate left um, right here and then uh, like another sort of like climb to get up to here uh, and then you kind of like catch a little bit of light from the chamber to your left um, but it's again it's about yeah it's about 10 15 feet above uh, which is what roll 20 is not taking into account Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll ignore the things that sort of, Yeah. Yeah. Please ignore that. Uh, but yeah, there's sort of a there's a there's a ledge right to your left, and then sort of a climb above that, and then like a faint bit of light coming from, uh, like a chamber to the left. Um. All right. Uh. Well, what is everybody else doing? Can I try to stealth up, like, past Gorza up that. Uh... Embankment kind of parallel to where those guys are. 
uh, where what it looks like from where I'm at, possibly stairs. All right. Uh. Yeah, sure. Make a stealth check. Roger. Um. So it would be like I'd be trying to get right like here. Uh, yeah, just like a, a little bit up the steps. I will say it's, yeah. it's sort of like a like it's like a rapid, steep ascent. Um, so I'd probably want to be at the bottom of the steps and not try to go up them because it'd probably be like slick or something, or I'd have uh, to use my claws. No. I, 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 it looks walkable. I, I, okay. I just wanted to emphasize that, like, it's you can't necessarily see this on roll twenty, but it but it looks like yeah. those steps go up 20, 30, 20, 30 feet above the the, the cave floor, up up, okay. up up into the right. Right. Then I will um, uh, kind of yeah, I'll uh, I'll get like right here, and I probably won't be able to see much other than to their left like that okay. ascent wall right um and, and yeah as you guys are kind of doing this and kind of like uh, uh Mithor and diapak kind of like uh, go up into that passageway on the left and dust sort of advances a little bit um up into the cavern uh, once again uh, you kind of hear this roaring sound oh. of water. I don't like and, that. I don't like that. It's this entire passageway where uh, Dust, uh, um, Gorza, and a Cosreal are standing just like... So like it's just filled with water. Um, I'll need the three of you to make a strength saving throw to see if you can hold on to something. I'm in trouble. Uh, Can I try digging my claws in? Uh, uh, I, no. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Definitely right. not. Oh, no. Uh, oh, jeez. All right. Uh, you guys all take... Oh, no. This one was worse than the last. You guys will take six points of blood. Jesus. <laughs> And you're just all washed, like. I can't whoops. even see where you guys are. Oh, you all just like are washed here to the entrance. Yeah, uh, back and me, Thor, look where. As the cat you guys was. just like, like it's gone. <laughs> it's that entire <laughs> chamber is filled with water. That hallway, you guys are just like. Oh. As, as you guys get washed <laughs> to the entrance of the cave, you just feel uh, like. Uh, oh my. Mouse pad is wet from like saliva because I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> we feel like your mouse pad. Got it. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you just feel like, just like bang, like your head, your neck, your chest, like just like slamming into rocks as you're just like, uh, like, uh, like swept to the entrance of the cave. Um, and then once again, the stream kind of like goes back to normal. I immediately and very angrily get, get stand up and move just inside the cave and start shaking off to try to get as much water off of me as possible. Hey, do you want to see what's inside the soul uh, cave? Of water water water. <laughs> you know, if we poke our heads up there, we'll definitely be safe from the water. That's what I'm thinking. Do you want to just like check this out while they go for a swim? Go too far. But I'm not getting sucked down in the water again. Um, so, Wait. what about now? Question. Wait, well, hold on, hold on, what, what happened? Quick question. Thor, uh, oh, guys whoa, know, me Thor. All right, hold on a second, me Thor. Uh, you, went up you, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, me, me Thor, hold on a second. Uh, <clears throat> you, so you're advancing up there that way? Yeah, we're climbing up. Okay, uh, me Thor... <laughs> Um, just a second. Uh, oh, man. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I'm so slightly protesting as Mithor rus rushes up this embankment, but Diapek will follow, but not happily. Yeah, I might, I, need, I might need Mithor to back up a little bit, too, but just a second, let me check. Um, um, Diapek uh, is protesting, Mithor. Protest <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> um... Where's that shit? Gosh. Okay. <laughs> Did I break it? Uh, there it is. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Mithor went first. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna move you back here. Uh, Mithor, as you climb up to this sort of like landing and between these two kind of like slopes, um, uh, as you. Kind of, how much do you weigh? Probably enough. Uh, 200 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, as you as you step on that landing, you kind of feel it give way. Um, and I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. As you kind of step there, and you feel this like whole kind of ledge like crumble and give way. Uh oh. Do I have to catch him? Uh. <laughs> dexterity uh... saving throw. Um, the Jesus. How do I do the saving throw? Oh, no! Oh, uh, just, that's, okay, that's okay, I will not count that. Uh, <laughs> click, cl click on your saving throw. On the next dirty saving throw. So it'll be sheet. under on saving throws, right under your proficiency yeah. bonus. Uh, proficiency bonus, oh, copy. Alright, what is it? Dex? Dex. Yeah, De dexterity saving throw. Okay, yeah. Um, alright, so hey. you... <laughs> You, uh, um, all right, so you, uh, as, as that ledge that you're on just crumbles and gives way, you're able to, like, kind of stay on your feet, uh, not falling prone, kind of falling in, but, but you, you, you do take four points of bludgeoning damage as you sort of, like, your, your feet and legs kind of get caught in the rubble, uh, but you manage to sort of, like, not fall on your ass as you make your way up that. Uh, that escarpment. I told you this was a bad idea. <laughs> so wait, wait. I have a question. So I yeah. dodge off of this sort of crumbling shit. Do I not take? Do I get to choose which way I jump, or are you choosing for me? Uh, is this Thor? Yes. Yeah. All right. So you kind of stay where you are. You okay. just, you just like you, you, you manage to like avoid the worst of it, and right, you okay. manage to stay on your feet. You take some bludgeoning damage. You take half damage because you like. You know, like we're able to avoid the worst of that entire ledge where you're standing collapsing. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the uh, half damage I take? You take four points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're um, down. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, you, you um, and, and now again, is where you're standing, you kind of see uh, here to your left. There's like a, there's like a slope that's about ten feet. It looks like it's uh, it looks climbable. Uh, to I'm not make feeling your way so up well, the... boys. I'm not feeling so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear him say that? I, I, Wait, we're I take a vote that we should take yeah, a... Yeah, uh, everybody's a little hurt. We should take a, a rest before we, should, we uh, go we further rest. in, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Do, do we, we, all have, do we just want to camp outside this cave here? Uh, Diopak is going to ask me, Thor, to please come back to the group. I, I, do you want to go into the fucking water... Tunnel? Hey, I don't DM. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, between the the first rush of water and this most recent one, what I know about the timing of how long it was between it rushes. Um. Should I roll like an intelligence check or something? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Intelligence. I am super. Not intelligent. Um, so we will just uh, roll it. Nope. Yeah. Uh, it was water some, rush. some it's time water. passed. Yeah. I mean, I, it, there, was a pa time. there was a passage of time. No. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it was... Um, hold on a second. It's probably like a... a you know, like... 20, 30 seconds. I mean, yeah. 
I'm just I'm just gonna back out of the cave and I'm gonna kind of as silently as possible call up and say we we should get out of here guys for for a bit and just I'll say back after out of the, the cave. next wave. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Fuck this water shit. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna crawl my way over to this little <laughs> thicket area. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much. Also, um, can I the two goblin bodies that were here? Could I cut them up into meat? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. He's a lizard folk. Hey man. You are a spy. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the water to pass. To wear their skin too. All right. So um. <laughs> Uh, Gorza, Dust, and the Cosriel kind of retreat back into that little uh, kind of uh, where the goblins were were standing guard. Um, Diapek and Mithor, uh, what what are you guys doing? I'm uh, waiting. waiting for the water. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I will say, uh, like, like, how how long are you waiting? Until the wait. end of time, or the water comes, whichever happens first. The Jesus. sun will explode before I get swept away by water again. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys wait, like, a minute passes. Oh, we'll count. Two, three, yeah. several minutes pass, and um, the stream kind of is a shallow two feet, and is it kind of like... It, it's, it's fairly loud. You can kind of hear, like, the... Like the sound of the water and rushing down, but yeah, several, several minutes pass and and the water remains at kind of a normal level. <laughs> I, I start to first, get dude. I start to get nervous. Go first. Um, it seems like longer, doesn't it? it does. It does. What do you think? Maybe it'll be harder. So long, just. <laughs> I think they were waiting for the water to come out, but uh, okay. Do you get a little worried. Ah, you think they're okay? Are you ready to run? Ah, ah. Yes, ah, me too. Ah, I, as soon as you know, I chase him. Oh, I chase him are. so fast. I jump in the stream he and swim. That was I great. I swim. Right. I jump in the stream and swim <laughs> after him. Mithor, Mithor and Diapek, you guys, like, uh, you run out. Yeah, you, you guys see, as you run by, uh -huh. you see the wolves sort of, like, still gnawing on those ears. Oh, I don't care don't about them. Don't give a shit about um, the wolves. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, you guys make it out. The water level kind of remains the same. Um, that was the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to me in to my entire life. I would like to go to sleep. So do you guys want <laughs> goblin mate for dinner? No, you fuck. Right. Dust? I mean, is it good, actually? Yeah, actually, I'll uh, I'll get it a try. Why not? Right. I got you, I got three goblins worth here. Uh, what are you got... What are you guys doing? Uh, cooking, cooking the uh, goblins he just cut up. Flame. Nice. Ooh. I'll do that. Can I just Are say you, uh, I have cooking utensils, so I will help. Is, I will oh, say I'm by gonna, I will say by now kid. too. It is like uh, we're getting into like uh, getting a little darker as it's sort of like mid to late fall. Uh, the sky is growing a little bit darker. You Does get anybody here not of, need to sleep? Like you get the sense need of to sleep less. It's like it's it, it's approaching dusk. I will say. I, th I think we could get a long rest with watches, right? If we, if we if we did watches, would we be able to get a long rest? But it would probably take a longer. Uh, you could certainly try. Yeah. Possibility. There's a yeah. cozy little alcove. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cosriel, if you move over there. To that uh, little alcove, we could all kind of fit in here and put uh, a watch out, uh, just so everybody's in here. I suggest the last watch be for Gorza, as it will be lighter then. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with that. Okay. 